What is up guys, Cool Sam here. I have a quick little episode here for you guys just to show you how to spool line, spool braided line on a new reel. I'm going fishing tomorrow, now is 10 p.m. I have nobody around to help me. So I had to spool this reel, check out the reel. Brand new reel, got it by monkeys. Who knows what kind of reel it is? A Daiwa BG 4000 size. Now I have the Daiwa BG 6500 as well I jig with. I absolutely love that reel. I wanted something smaller, like a castle A, with a similar type of features and power and strength in the construction. I like the Daiwa because it's solid. Everything about it is solid. So anyway, I got this reel today, going fishing tomorrow. I said it's 10 p.m., no line on it. So basically what I'm going to show you guys is how to quickly spool a reel if you're by yourself with braided line. Can be tricky at times, but the method I'm going to use is pretty easy. Now the Dio BG comes with a reel that's already ready for braid. A lot of reels don't come with that. So I'm still going to go through the steps if it didn't come with the, re the braid ready reel, right? So basically all we need is the reel, some mono. I'll just take it from this other reel here. Uh, I use a rod, of course the braid, the Iowa J braid, got that monkeys out as well. And this last thing right here, a bucket of water. And that's it. You don't need anything. If you have a glove, it might help as well. If you have a handkerchief, anything will, will work as well. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put some backing on the reel. Like I said, it's not 100% necessary. Um, for the Daiwa BG, but I still like to do it just because you know it's how I used to do all my other reels as well. And we want to maintain that. You put backing on your reel so the braid doesn't slip, right? That's just the basic reason why you put the backing. Backing meaning you have to put like about a few wraps of mono before you start to spool the braided line. Here we go. So we're gonna run the mono through the rod, make a few wraps, then we're gonna start the braid. Okay, guys. So where we at? I just ran the mono straight through the rod all the guides on the rod and we're going to tie the line onto the reel itself important very important when you tie the line lift the bail tie the line and then close back the bail very important doing it for the first time make sure to do that so the bail is lifted what i'm going to do same knot you could use for everything in fishing i'm going to use the uni knot One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull it. Oops, I need to get a uh, cutting instrument. One second. All right, so the knot is around the spool. Before I tighten it, you cut as close to the knot as possible. Here we go. And then you pull it straight down to the reel. snug as possible, flip the bail, and this is how it should look if you've done it successfully. Alright, tightly drag a bit, and we're just going to make a few wraps where we have about one or two layers on the complete reel of the mono. This is 10 pound test mono. So there we go. The base of the reel is completely covered. That's all we need. I'll cut this right here. Next step is to join the braid to the mono and then spool the braid itself. So the braid we got is 20 pong Daiwa J braid. I like J braid. Um, I've been using it for a little while now. No problems with it. And Mr. Monkey has a pretty good price. Braid on the whole is expensive. So, you can get a good price at Mr. Monkey. Buy it. Other people like Power Pro. Um, have some other brands out there, PC Fun, Casking, but it's up to you. Like I said, J braid works fine for me. I've been using it since maybe over a year now. No problems whatsoever. 
right so we have the end of the mono end of the braid I'm gonna use my same W knee and join it before we tighten it we need to moisten it add a bucket of water right here always moisten your nuts guys always always you don't want to burn that line at all and you just pull it together and the camera will be focusing but oh yeah good to go snip off the excess and then we go to the little tricky part which is not so tricky how i'm going to show you all right for the next part i'm going to put it on my head for you guys to see it right audio might be 100 but Okay guys, so I have the bucket, rod, braid, cloth. So very simply, it's gonna open the bucket. Now the bucket's full about, let's say one third way up. Just drop in the braid into the water, simple as that. That's it. And we're gonna start to wrap it with some tension on the line. All right, so we have the line in the bucket, using the cloth, glove anything you have. a few steps back all right guys so to get started just using the cloth holding the line against the rod the braid is in the bucket and we keep in tension and we wrap it i could hold your rod as you can feel comfortable i lean up on the wall right now and we wrap it the braid will be spinning in the bucket while you wrap it. So hopefully you guys see in while I wrap in, see how the braid spin in the bucket of water, avoiding any tangles. I think it's about 330 yards of braid on that spool. This reel should take just about all of it. So you just keep in the tension and wrap in steady. Line spinning in the bucket. You wrap in easy like that. Don't need help from anybody to spool braid. If you have help, good, but it's the easiest way to do it by yourself. Just a bucket of water, any bucket of water. We're almost done guys, the reel is almost full, I guess any spool is almost finished. Line looking as tight as ever on the reel, if you can be seeing that, tight not the best, night time. About five minutes, spool up the braid. So that's the bucket guys, spool is empty. So here's the spool guys, trying to get the light for you guys, perfectly spooled. No issues, it took the full reel of 20 pound braid. Okay guys, so that was a simple, easy way to spool braid line onto your reel. It looks perfect, I hope you can see it on camera, it's not the best lighting. But that took about five minutes by yourself, all you need is a bucket of water, a cloth or a glove, and that's it. Do your mono back in, do you need to uni not, uni uni not onto the reel with the mono back in, you need to uni onto the braid, and then you wrap the braid straight out from the bucket. Five minutes, 10 minutes max. And you have a perfectly spool reel ready to fish. Simple as that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry about the here and whatnot, you know, it's half past 10, nine, time to go and sleep. So thanks for watching. Till the next one, keep fishing, fish on.